All right, hello everybody. Welcome. It's Thursday. Uh, due to some scheduling bits, we're we're not doing uh, live live today, which works out well because we have a new set release for Magic. So, want to get some more drafts in with the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth set. Uh, that's on Arena, uh, as of Tuesday, um, pre-release last weekend in paper, uh, modern and f backward legal, yeah, so, that's what we're here to do, is do some more Lord of the Rings drafting. Ah. <sighs> Hope you're having a good week. <laughs> it's low Tuesday. It's, it's, it's not Tuesday, though. It was Tuesday the first time. <laughs> we had a good time on Tuesday. Hope we have another one, another good one today. And you know, learning more and more about how this limited format plays out. Uh, removal is something that is not as uh, not prevalent, but uh, accessible as in some of the formats we've been playing. Uh, evasion is also similarly hard to come by, so kind of premium. Um, Yeah. Anyway, this is what we're after here. Look, there's only one person who really knows it's that bad. Look, everybody else is like, fine. I don't know, Bilbo just was using it for party tricks. What could go wrong? <laughs> it's it, it, it's the biggest flavor miss of the set easily but uh, anyway <sighs> I need to like take some time and figure out what I want to commission on a splash screen for stream opening like, I have like mental ideas of little bits but not like the whole of what that is just just something that came to mind because I'm thinking about like you know you know letting people kind of get in here before we start the draft and I I don't have a splash screen like that uh, I probably should, but like, what would I put on it? Would I want something different for like different days? Maybe, how, if I did different days for different things, how would I split that? These are all questions for me at a time that isn't when I'm drafting, I guess. Anyway. It's something I'm saying aloud right now so that it is in my head for the future. You know? I, I tend to remember things a lot better in that way. Alright, what do we got as our opening? Is this the best rare in the set? Like, I know I've talked about Horn of Gondor. Uh, Horn of Gondor um, comes up in my mind as, like, one of the, like, just a, 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 a hell of, a, like, an auto-win style card. Um, but 
Banderil here makes flyers. It gives a pretty sizable buff. Um, the flyers are generally tapped and attacking. Um, yeah, there aren't many artifacts in the set, but most of them just win the game. I think one of the card drawing artifacts is better. Palantir or the One Ring. I would not say Palantir, but I might say One Ring. <laughs> oh, well. That's, uh. That might be a bit of a reach in Limited, you know what I mean? Um, I do have Aragorn's sword, though. <laughs> hmm. If I pick this up, that means I have to be, like, two colors on here and then splash the other two. Um, through, like, Shire Terrace. There's a couple ways of doing it. You know what? If this one goes, like, wild... You know, like, I think the idea is I go green X and then try to fix from there. I think the other card I might pick in here would be the, the Dumbland. This is actually really powerful, by the way. Just, uh, as a heads up, as a common. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go wild today. That sounds fun. Okay, um, so that basically means anything but black is where we're looking. Um... So the effects on Aragorn are one ones in white, scry two in blue, bolt the opponent on red, and plus four, plus four in green. Meaning that red and green are the colors we more want to be in because they, 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 they have hefty effects. Atlas Rhyme. It's up on the ring. Errant Rider of Gondor? I felt this card has been, like, quite strong. It's like that, or maybe the Rohirrim. Um. Fog and Barrow Downs is a pacifism. We also have Eagles and Oliphant, which are going to be necessary um this one makes a food this one tempts none of these are fixing it's fine uh these are these are fixing but i'm willing to pick pacifism first here which i think is probably incorrect but ooh okay fear fire foes or theoden theoden's incredible fear fire foes is also incredible um, Hobbit Sting also works well. Um, Improvise Club. Fire, Fire Foes is like super good removal. Theoden's very aggressive. Might ah, not picking Fire Fire Foes might be a stick, but it kind of like. Crushing in multicolor there. Okay, we're gonna have to pick up the fixing or make this deck work. Char Terrace. I I think as I mentioned, <laughs> no. So the problem with Tom Bombadil is that Tom Bombadil doesn't work uh, in Limited is, is kind of the issue. Um, Tom Bombadil wants a ton of sagas and saga counters, and that's just not a card type we're going to be finding a lot of in these cards. Uh, sagas are in this set, but they're not terribly common in this set. Um, okay. Wizard Rockets is X mana in any combination of colors. Okay. Uh-huh.
more Shire Terrace. We can get that sort of fixing going. Slip in the ring. Slip in the ring to flicker. Errant Rider is going to be fine. Um, we obviously need things to get this working lower. The idea I have in my mind is that it's Aragorn in a... As a, like a, a funny splash in a deck that's like two colors. Also, several of the sagas are iffy at best and limited. Yes, that's the, 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 that's easy enough to to pass up for that reason. Eagles of the North. Okay. Okay, so white looks like we're fine in white, and that's a fine with with Aragorn because Aragorn is token making on white. They're small tokens, but it's consistent. Hobbit Sting this late. Okay. Even Protector of Gondor is cool, too. Um, uh, Tyrant Share, Rosie Cotton, Samwise, Shadow Facts, Banish. These are all very good cards for us. Um, Rosie Cotton really likes token making. Samwise is a style of protection or recursion. Um, Shadow Facts is a five drop that we can throw down. Uh, like some very powerful friends with 4-4 four, four Haste that hands things down. Uh, Banish is also good here just as removal. I think I'm between... Aragorn's a 5-5. Five, five. Not enough to be able to be put in with uh, Shadow Facts. I'm okay with that. Shadow Facts uh, is uh, below, and yeah, there's a many partings. Um, I could pick that up and then, like, try to f have green be a bit more. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I'm if I'm splashing, I should probably splash for one of the most ridiculous cards possible, right? Um. <laughs> Like, Faramir here uh, it says either I get a card or I get three 1-1s one every turn. Uh, other cards in here, many partings, uh, Fog, um, Ents Fury is like plus one, plus one fight, but sometimes it's plus two, plus two fight. Versus the Bruin. To Reaper. Humans Navigator. Island Cycling. I don't like this card as much because it's double blue on the casting. Um, more Rockets. Clan the Freshness is the only color we aren't playing. Took Reaper just as like bodies for early. White seems to be the color that's our main setup, and I'm fine with that. Um. Kind of like getting some more bodies. I don't know. This card is not great, but it's something that gets me some. I probably need to get some more twos and ones here. Gandalf Sanction X X is number and it's the in graveyard, and it overkills. Okay, Frodo, Rider, Wos Pathfinder. The worst Pathfinder is fixing if we have green as a main color. The Rider is a strong two drop. The thing is that the white coming through looks really nice at being aggressive. And I want to get some more early stuff. I kind of want to be, like, white with the splash. Maybe the splash is just for, like, these... You know what I want to find? I need to find the, the halls that let you cast legends. That, that's that's a high pick for this deck, I feel. Another West Fold Rider. Um, another Hobbit Sting. Yeah, you know, like we have to keep an eye out for those lands. Lands Gift, Umber Captain, Isolation. Thing wants to be good. Mm. 
again, Porter. Elephant. That'll be fine. Uh, the tempting stuff, like, creates the, the ring setup. So, like, the, this card here, like, will just do it. it. We don't have to, like, draft a specific card for it. Something like that. Fog a barrow down. Or inherit an envelope. Get some more of that colorless fixing. Okay, and we get another copy of Fog and Barrow down here. Uh, more Ents Furies are still coming around, too. Um, a lot of removal for what we're doing. Um, I'm going to take another Wizard Rocket. We definitely want... Okay, Ents Fury number four. Okay, pack three. I want some lands to fix this. Oh, God, the Shire. The Shire is really strong. Uh, free food forever. Um, Prince Himmerhal, the fair is draw. I think I'm willing to just take the Shire as food generation. We need a little bit more green for that, but that's okay because we're playing the many partings and such. Yeah, this is fine. I want, again, I'm looking for some of the, 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 the great hall that, like, one tap, add two of a, a combination of colors for your legends. Because that's the sort of stuff I want to be able to actually get, like, these cards to function at our top end. And then, like, our low end is just, like, some efficient creatures and good shit, you know? Like... Last March. Probably just take Banish and treat this deck as like it's going to be a, a bit of a longer plan. Uh, I don't think this card is like actually real. I mean, obviously it would have let us slam our, all our creatures into play, but I don't like want to be on. I want to be actually casting them rather than like playing something to cheat them in like this. What do you do? You goad? The hell? When you cast a Sorak spell, treasure token, you're probably fine to pick here because you make treasure. Treasure fixes us up. Um. Not the Sauron. Two Dane Rangers. Alright, I really. Minas Tirith. Prince. Soldier of the Great Host is a positive combat trick. Host is kind of good at trading up and being like a little bit expensive flyer. I might be willing to play the Scarecrow. I don't know. I don't think I'm willing to go that far into this. There we go. Great Hall of the Citadel. Finally. This is what we're looking for. This is the, the, the way that we cast all our legendary stuff. More copies of Great Hall. I know we only have the one here, but that's okay. Uh, Legolas. Yeah, that'll be fine. Are that down bad for color fixing? No, that, that's not bad. I want it. It's the best. Is there no fixing? Our deck has like 12 pieces of fixing. <laughs> like, we're, we're, we have a lot of it. 
Like I'm specifically picking a lot here because I want this this deck to be able to function under. Uh, my God, no, we're not we're we're not in a world where I'm actually considering the uh, the scarecrow because we have a lot of other choices that I think are better off. Oh, yeah. Because we've got... The Wizard Rockets are about the worst of that type of card I want to play. I'd rather play Swarming of Moria. You're freaking the Scarecrow. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the only four-color card at all. We saw the other five-color, so, like... All right, let's let's build this nonsense. Okay, so those all go in. They're going like a transcendent. You, and then like dwarves, elephants. Copies of many partings. Do I fit the wizard rockets in here? Yeah, because like our deck is, we've got many partings. We've got uh, treasure off dwarven emissary. We've got inherited envelope. We have our all of our cyclers that make things. We've got a couple different lands: the share terrace and the great hall. Um, and this isn't even like particularly a multicolor set. That's just kind of like fixing. I'm a little wondering if I actually can fit the many partings in here because if I'm on green, then I'm on my splash color. So, like, it's hard to kind of include those. It might be better to just play the rockets instead and save these for, like, more effective bits when I need them. Um... Yeah, okay. This is gonna be a really funky looking draft. Uh, put him in this tier in the Shire. Uh, we fit in uh, Lorien and Eagles. If so, where? Oh no! If I again, the problem with Lorien here is that it's it's like double blue on the cast, so it's really unlikely I'm casting that. But it is also four cards. Oh, goodness. Um... Man, we're on 41 already. Love that we have Anduril in here, too. Oh yeah, I'm super... There's a couple I feel like I need to change. This Plains is not one of them. This Island is also not one of them. I love both of these. The Mountain, uh, I think, is cool, but I think could be improved. Lightning Mountain is a really, really strong-looking one. Uh, the Forest is, like... Okay? Not... I mean, like, like, good enough that it's, it's the one I'm picking, but I feel like there's better ones here. But, like, Dog Plains. Love me a Dog Plains. And love the, like... Cut clouds. I love those. I don't know if Legolas is making this deck. We have Arwen as our only source of scry, and we aren't really killing things as much as we are, like, fogging them. That's maybe the cut. And then... From here, you only need the green for Aragorn and Arwen. Um, cut that up one and then. Uh, 
this is... This rules? Which one I want? Eagles. The problem with eagles is that white is like the main color. I should be on that. Like, I kind of want one more white source if I can get away with it, but I need the forest in here so I can't cut that. I don't know if the Shire actually makes it because it needs second green. We can almost never activate this. I mean, we can, obviously, which is nice, but, like, we're going to need Shire plus Forest to be able to activate that. And, like, the reason we're in green is because of Arwen, which Arwen is, is like a late-game scry um, pump, and then obviously Aragorn. He's, you know, Aragorn. We have, like, I think one or two cards that care about food. It's like the farmer here. The farmer's actually the card I cut for the eagles. That's the cut. And then we cut out the Shire. We keep Minas Tirith. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. We're going 3 on blue because we have... We can go 2 on red because we have Oliphant. We can go 2 on green because we only have 2 green cards. I'm going 3 on blue because there's no specific search for it. And it's a couple cards. Um, If I swapped it, it would be for another planes, but... That might be what I'll end up doing. We'll see. But actually... Hmm. I'm gonna do that. I think getting the planes is important to our deck functioning like normal. And then we, when we go like wild, it's because we're searching for all these. Alright. Boy, howdy. Uh, we, we first picked... Like, one of the strongest aggressive pieces in the entire set, and then threw that deck in the trash to do some, like, nonsense bullshit. And then we went back to, like, white aggression, uh, normal. Yeah, we got a holy font to be able to fix this up, and I can... Yeah, well, this is fine. This is good. And Rider of Gondor draws a card if you control a legend, and if you don't control a legend, it's draw a card, put a card in the bottom. Gonna go grab a mountain. Alright. Wizard Rockets means we're good for a while. Counter spell? God, this counter's stupid as hell. Because it's power or toughness that hits to like up to power or toughness. So this hits like good chunk of three drops. Anyway. Time for the meaning of haste. The eagles are here. <laughs> okay. Sure, some orcs showed up. their one drop blue spells here mouth of sauron target player mills three mass orcs x where x is number okay they're gonna target themselves 
And that's gonna make minimum plus two. Okay, plus two. Pretty good. Okay. Um. Time to sack. We want blue mana and blue mana. And then, uh, hmm, I can pacify the mouth. Alternately, I can just attack in the air. Okay. Three cards left in hand, plus a draw off the Kingfisher. Okay, this is a 5-5 five, five on their turn if they control an army. <laughs> yeah, all right. We ride. So it's not a legend, so these aren't attacking, but... I don't care. It's really true what they say. Why didn't they just give the Eagles Andoril? Like, Mill each player equal to the ring bearer's power. Okay. Destroy all non legendary creatures on one ring. Okay. Sure. If I double fog, they can turn on the Grand. But that's still probably... Then I can't move the sword. Do I have lethal? No. I'm sitting here thinking if I equip to... Arwen, it would be four or five that have two blockers. We'd be attacking for not enough in the air. I'd probably just attack in the air. Let's just do that. I don't want to let their army die, because if their army dies, then they can um, keep drawn. Okay. Destroy all non-legendary creatures. Oh shit, this is... Oh, this is legendary. Oh, I thought Grand was non-legendary. Oh well. I did, I did not check Grand out. Um... 
Yeah, the army is because it's the ring bearer. What does this do? When the second spell each turn happens, some text occurs. Hell if I know what it actually is. Yes, because this is, uh, this is no longer the army. Because the, uh, the way a mass works... Okay, so then I lose a bunch of life. When you cast the second spell this turn, each opponent mills two. When one or more cards are milled this way, exile target enchantment is or sorcery with equal or lesser mana value than that spell. Than what spell? Than the second spell you cause, cast. Copy the exiled spell. Okay. <laughs> mm. Okay, mill two, and then you get to steal one of the milled spells, and then the milled spell is Hobbit Sting, and Hobbit Sting kills Lord Shadowfax, except for it doesn't because this wasn't in play. Hey, we drew our island. Okay. Yeah, I'll, you need to learn something every game. And I, the, the thing I learned there is that, uh, the, that that vehicle was legendary. I did not expect that, but luckily was not terribly punished by it. I wanted to keep their army in play because I wanted that vehicle to be a creature so it would blow up, but clearly didn't blow up, so... Saruman of three colors. Yeah, sure, I'm in. We got rockets. <laughs> rockets basically let me do whatever. One drop. Haunt. Yeah, the haunt. This specific border is a little weird. It looks a little bit too artifacty for me. Or like snow even might be what I'm thinking. It just doesn't look, you know, It looks like it has some secondary trait. Probably willing to trade this with the army so that there isn't a growing army from the Black Gate. Because the, the, this is make the army or when an army attacks a mass. So it's the, the endless ranks of the the of the, the fight at the Black Gate, obviously. Kill spell. Wow. We're that willing to kill it, huh? Okay. 
I'm willing to sack these rockets just to draw right now because we need to have a little bit more uh, action. I want to get the shadow effects. Probably just pacify this so that they don't control an army. Or I pacify that so they can't uh, kick my ass. I don't want you to be able to play. Oh god, it's even... Oh no, this is actually really bad to pacify too. Awkward. Um. Hmm. Sack a creature, goad. Goad is like force and attack. It has more text, but really it's just force and attack in two, in two player. It forces an attack at other players if able, but like there aren't other players. The hope here is that I can use this to keep Moria Marauder back at home. If they have a kill spell for us, that's kind of bad. Um... Interesting. Okay. They don't get the army back. I guess they're, they're looking for the land off the top, because you can play this card this turn. Hopefully they just hit, like, two, like, some threes or something they can't play. There's a land, and then the double strike will get them another card, which is going to be, like, a two drop, right? Unplayable two drop unless they play a... Swamp Command, which they will instead. Okay. Alright. Um. Well. Let's do our Shadow Facts trick. They'll chump. Getting the army is worth it. They also get to draw three cards on their combat next turn. This card is wild because it doesn't it doesn't need to hit. It's all your team. So like they're all of their creatures get them card draw at this point. Poof. Uh, I can't turn it off when without a real kill spell. We need to like exile it. Or or shoot it with a a a, a gleam. Uh, the the hobbits is we're sacking rockets too next turn. Um, okay, so they obviously go to combat first. This makes sense. They get to draw three for this. And they put me to 11. The idea, hopefully, is that I'm able to, like, outrace them. Okay. Okay, that's fine. This card really isn't that useful as, a, as like, a, a card up for free. Rally and Trebuchet. Okay. Trebuchet is good. Literally. We can draw a card off Minas Tirith. Rally is really annoying because, like, that just lets them block Shadow Facts all day. There's the Trebuchet. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm gonna leave Shadowfax back at home. 
because there's too many 1-1s one for me to care anymore. We'll try to win in the air. Drawing so many cards. All they need is a murder for Shadowfax. <laughs> and then they make their Marauder, the, the Ring Bear, and I can't block it. Oh, goodness. That's bad. Okay, so I'm taking... 4, 5, 6, 7... 8 here. And they get to draw... 3 cards. Wow, they're dedicated to the low end here if they're playing uh, uh, Rower and Lancer. I don't have a lot of respect for this card. Land, and... They actually drew land, two drop, one drop. Alright, they just play all that. Um, what are we winning with? Do they have a Wrath? Is there a Wrath in this set? <laughs> uh, there, there's a real... There's the, the battle... Uh, the, there's... The ring would be it, right? Like... Because there's a white, white one that destroys three power or greater. There's a saga that does it, like, slowly. I don't think there's actually... A, a, a card that is just Wrath of God. This is so late to the party. This is what we needed, but it's just too late to the party. Just, yeah, the, the, the Moria Marauder is the card we lost to here pretty cleanly. Anyway, they're gonna... Sack it? Draw three? Oh! <laughs> okay, our opponent's deck is really cool. Um, one thing I really like about what, what our opponent's deck has going on here, we have a lot of these, like, uh, sack outlet cards, Lash, Improvised Club, Improvised Club, and then, like, some bodies that we want to throw. But I actually want you to, more importantly, take a look at... Uh, the curve. One, one, two, 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 three, two, two. One, two, two, three. Uh, and then another one. Not a single card over three. Our opponent's just stepping on the gas for an eternity. Oh, spiteful banditry, I guess, would be the, the, the way to move a board like that. That, uh, the, like, make a treasure on creature death once a turn, and then, like, uh, X damage. But yeah, there's, this is a, like, we come from a set that had a multiple very powerful wraths to a set that just doesn't have any. Legendary creature, okay. If I can draw a two drop, we're in business. Probably should have cracked that. Yeah, I'm just gonna crack this for zero. Because we have the hall, I don't care about it. Birds. 
We'll pacify that because it has a dead a, on death draw. I'm gonna try to play Andoril as Andoril equip, right? That's, that's has been tempted. What's your five? Okay. So that's exile my protector. And Goldberry moves counters around. So I'll get that back if I can kill a sheriff. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> it's Aragorn time. This kicks ass. Okay. And then I get to, I might be able to hand off Anduril. If I could hand off Anduril, I would feel so cool. They can use Bill the Pony to, to do enough damage, but I might just be playing defense here for a little while. Yeah, it gets in under me. No blocks. Yeah, I'll just take the one. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we're going to um. Just we're not going to play Andoril this turn. We're going to do a little bit of board construction with with Rider plus uh Barrows because those both make tokens. The other thing is that they can, like, block well enough to kill Aragorn with, uh, just Goldberry and Willowind. So what we're gonna do... Fog... Rider. No pass. So Goldberry can steal counters from target permanent you control. So just anything. Anything really. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> you have four turns. <laughs> That's fine. Minas Tirith is extremely good here. Anyway. We ride. They aren't attacking. But that's okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> Second blue, and it's Rivendell. Okay, so they can scry. Luckily, the, the good thing is they spent uh, Lost to Legend on... Uh, it's way better that they spent it on uh, Aragorn than it is they, they spent it on... Uh, on the sword. Okay, we're upgrading Bill the Pony again. That just bounced two of my flyers. I, or two of my non... Why'd you bounce my non-flyers? That's weird. Limited all-star Bill the Pony, yeah. <gasps> the Eagles! <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm sorry not actually expecting horsemanship to make a comeback in the set because of how little flying stuff there is in this that I, I am I, certain uh you know that that, that was a, a ask right we have a number of horses um I wonder if that may have been because the set's modern legal. I also figure that there has there have to be articles that have been written on this. I know that the Rose, Mark Rosewater likely has two or three design articles that'll be coming out over the next couple of weeks that will give us some some eyes. There was the one about the design doc that they passed off that talks about Tempt and how Tempt at pass off was like an equipment that also had a downside on it rather than like a weird emblem. Um, anyway. Uh, we got to we got to play Aragorn, and Aragorn played a uh, lightning rod to uh, getting lost to legend. Mimir. This hand's kind of bad. All the colors in the world, but not a drop of drink. Okay, that improves things significantly. Whenever Bree becomes blocked, take a treasure, target opponent gains control, of target horse you control. I say Bree as though that's the name of a character because that, that's not. That's a that, anyway. Um, uh, whatever choice we make here is likely to get us hit. So I'm gonna go with this. That's less searchable. We'll crack the rockets next turn. Oof. Okay. Everything's fine. We have to kind of hope they don't have removal for Faramir. I kind of want to do things that aren't Faramir first, if I can get away with it. Because, like, these colors, like a 3-3, three, three, no text, no text, air quotes. Ooh. 
is, is a way to just get things killed. Sure. Thanks! I'm gonna go for it, though. You. This card's cool. I actually like Surrounded by Orcs. I think that's a fun one. Alright. I'm kinda hoping that you don't have a kill spiel for Faramir here. This is a hard bet because they're in Grixis colors. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Shit. All right. That still goes? Oh! 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 No way. Nice delayed trigger. Okay. Oh. I. I thought this needed to be. I. No, there's no intervening on Okay, you know, there, it doesn't need to be there. Hmm. <laughs> you got it, boss. It's a hell of a lingering effect. Yeah, now Sting is super on. I don't care about stinging either of these. Um... I want to play the 3-1 to line up there, and I can sting if they go for, like, an amass or something. And this just dies to damage. So. Like, if they get a treasure off that, that's fine. Okay. Hoof, uh. Hoo, <laughs> Faramir. Love to learn. I had mentally read the card as though it needed to be in play for its, uh, for that, uh, Trigger, but no, this is it, it, choose an opponent and then this is all, this it's it's not split, it's all one. So ba da ba ba da ba. All right, are they gonna swindle a horse? That card's dead. That card's getting lost in the fog. No, that card's just dying. I'm killing it. Rip. Anyway. <laughs> Goddamn, Faramir. Shit! Oh, oh, artifact, okay. Oh, okay. Scroll of Isildur. Uh, gain control of an artifact, tap two creatures, stun them, draw a card for tapped creatures. Okay. You got my ass, alright. My ass has been toasted. <laughs> anyway... Anyway. I'm turning off your looting. The idea here is that I'm trying to, to, to bait a specific attack. They have a 3-3, three, three, we have a 1-1, one, one. this gives plus 2. Alright, so we have to fake reading this card.
Thanks. No way. <laughs> Not ah, uh, okay, so they can they can set up an upkeep stop to repeat the trigger? I'm not attacking this turn because I don't want to give them 100 million cards. We're gonna, we're just gonna hold back. Okay, they didn't do it. I thought they were gonna like steal it and repeat the trigger. That was the shit that scared me. Now what does this do? Tap Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature says, if this would untap, remove a plus one plus one counter from it instead if you do untap it. Otherwise, it doesn't untap. Okay, so. It is an That's a real weird card. Dang. Yeah. yeah. Well. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm absolutely beating down with Faramir here, who's just stupid as shit. Oh, yeah, Faramir, the the heads I win, tails you lose white blue card fun, in this set. Fun, fun thing, I, I, I get to find out here. Um, the, uh, this is, uh, in my mind, I had this as two different uh, abilities, like choose the opponent on yours and then a trigger no. on step. No, once it triggers on yours, player. yours, um, once it triggers on yours, it doesn't matter if Faramir dies, shit still happens. Oh, dope. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, I remember seeing Faramir when I... So uh, a few, like... I say a few. I actually mean, like, about a week ago. I uh, was looking through a bunch of recent cards in the interest of making a new deck, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I did get attracted to do the, uh, the simple ability of Faramir as an idea. I did decide to go with making um, a silly Tom Bombadil uh, deck instead, but I was really thinking <laughs> Faramir's was just like so straightforwardly good. Faramir seems like a draft win con alone. Yeah, this card alone is just like the end of many games. Uh, as you mm -hmm. might notice, we're, we're doing something. You certainly are. That's uh, four colors, huh? Yeah, um, our second pick. Uh, was a certain four color legend. Oh, all right. And we're we're effectively a mono white deck. Interesting. So you're okay. You have a base white as for almost everything, but then you have like three different colors of there splash. Are, there are two of each other basic in the deck. Mm -hmm. For like crap, like you know, for, I say crap, but Faramir is far from. I'm sorry, you don't need to prove yourself to, to be fair beer. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, we're not like your dad. Yeah, you <laughs> appreciate you yeah. on your own merits. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, free card. <clears throat> hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anduril, Flame of the West. You also have a legendary sword. Uh, okay. Anyway. Oh, I didn't even notice this actually has uh, sword cost and equip. Yeah, it's sword cost and equip. That's also... It... Mm -hmm. It's also two abilities. Got it. Yeah. It's very good. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a proper sword of... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair mm -hmm. of take the sword. I can hand off trample. Uh, Fuck those Numenorians, motherfuckers. <laughs> How do we just have, like, a regular sword? Like, king. It's fine. Yeah, so... So, yeah. Uh, actually, we can, we can go over the deck here. Uh, so, our first pick was that sword. Mm -hmm. Um, Because you're never getting Completely a card understandable. Anywhere. You're never getting a card anywhere but first pick because it's... I, it's yeah. I it believe... will fit in literally anything, and is well, and is incredibly so, powerful. So I have three cards that are on my my thought oh, as there we go. number okay. one. 
as like best card mm -hmm. for first pick. Um, Anduril is is one of my is one of them for like three auto pick. Like this is the best card you could ever open. Um, Doesn't even decide what you're playing. Yeah, that point. all three all, all, all three of my cards are artifacts for that too. The Horn of Gondor. Yeah, yeah. Understandable. Horn, yeah. Horn of Gondor makes a is a three man artifact that makes a one one human, but then it's three tap make a one one human for each human you control. Yep. So if, if you've ever played against Krenko, uh, it's Krenko. Uh, but it's an artifact, so it can't die to creature removal. Yeah. Uh, the third card, predictably, is is the ring. The, the one ring. Um, the one ring, yeah. The one ring, it's it's a little bit dead, dangerous, but it's hard to really say it, just how aggressively it's going to card advantage you. Right, because you, you're drawing, like, three to six cards. Yeah. Yeah, Depending so, on how, how strongly you're, you're leaving or, it on it. Or 10 if you want to go that deep. Uh, mm -hmm. but, and also it automatically like, ring temps you, like, all the way by itself, right? So uh, No, it, it, it makes you uh, immune to... Uh, it, it, it gives you a turn of protection when it comes in. Right, okay. Um, but you can also, like, throw it away. You can cast it into the flames mm -hmm. uh, with a club. That's, that that's that that's that's definitely I I saw that scene at the end of Return. That's basically what happened. Yeah, the uh, Where? basically I guess Sam kind of <laughs> takes the ring and then bludgeons um, <laughs> bludgeons Gollum into the into the <laughs> into the crater. That's how it works. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Oh, the other card that makes and of us... course you. You, you grabbed Aragorn, the, the four-color Aragorn. Yeah, this was our second pick, and that's what kind of built the deck. Um, Aragorn mm. the Uniter is... Uh, for a four-color card, I like how clean the design is mm -hmm. because it goes one, two, three, four, five. So it's very easy to mentally keep... It's the, the it's kind of like them in, Kenrith minus one ability. Yeah. It, it's easy for me to keep these abilities in mind because I know... That I'm just counting up. I know that it's a one one. I know yeah. it's scry two. I know it's bolt. I know it's it's a four four. Uh, yeah. Also, all four of these are like iconic thing things that those colors do to begin yeah. with. Making one one white uh, white creature soldier tokens is like the main thing white does. Scry two is the most common form of scry that's mm -hmm. actually on cards, yep. as opposed to caused by activated abilities. Bolts is bolts, and then plus four plus four is what? That's titanic strength or yeah, something. Yeah, titanic growth. Uh, the other card that titanic makes this growth. deck. I wish I had more of it. Uh, yeah, fixing for legendaries. This lets you cast Aragorn off of like missing two of your land types. Do you have a build a pony? No. Dang, so you can't do the Shadow Facts into build a pony play. How, what I've done twice now is Shadow Facts into the Eagles. <laughs> Truly, it's just saying, it's <laughs> looking at the movies and saying, yeah. why the fuck didn't they just do this? It <laughs> yeah. runs the entire plot. Yeah. Why didn't Shadow Facts simply horse call on... into the Eagles? Exactly. <laughs> Show the writer's room the meeting of haste. <laughs> this is asking to get owned for not having my main color. Yes, it is. But it does have at least Darwin in it. I get to I get to lie to my opponent so hard. Mogdin, which is the uh, Dinbog, Nidbog, Nidgom. There we go. I got there. I'm pretty sure Mogdin is Goblin backwards. Yeah, feels right. I am lying. I am. <laughs> All right, po opponent, guess what color we are. Shit. Ah, uh, Nazgul. Nazgul's okay. quite good. Mm -hmm. They have special sound effect for that is the Nazgul screech sound from the movie in this. All right. I just need... Re I just had that process in my... Yeah, they really, really went all in on this set as being for, like, the, the theming and... Mm -hmm. Even for this. All right. Anyway, I I I fixed it. Yep. There are different yeah, nine yep. different Nazgul arts. Uh, yep. Nine different Nazgul arts. But 
There is a fun bit of text about uh, you know the, a deck can have up to nine Nazgul uh, cards. Gothmog as well. Okay. Yep. You uh, you can't play ten in limited. Yep. Funnily enough, even though in limited limited there is technically no limits to numbers of a card type that you can I'm... play as long as you just open them. If a card actually has text limiting on it, that means that you can, you in fact can only play that number of text cards. Okay, envelope is another piece of fixing up. Um. So, Gothmog hands off Death Touch to Creech Token. So, also, just what an army, you know? Like, look at this yep. nice photo of army we got there. Okay, um. It looks like the, uh, there's a, a skeleton art, something like Kildoran Dead or Restless Dead or something like that is extremely a bunch of bones about to pose for a, for a rap album. And uh, I feel like that's those goblins right there, those uh, goblins and orcs, are very much them before they turn into goblins. <laughs> uh, this format doesn't have a lot of flying for obvious reasons. So mm -hmm. ring tempting is actually one of the more common. It's one of the ways you get evasion. Yeah. They did have multiple Nazgul. All right. Interesting that they traded that one earlier. No, no, they, they picked that up. Oh, did they? Okay, sorry. Yeah, they just picked that up. Ah, uh, they picked it up for the oh, Shire. Okay. a 3-3 three, three coming in? Yeah, no. The, the... Yeah, and they're tapped out. Why are they going to I'm not seeing why I wouldn't do this. Also, it is a question of what you kill here, evasion or Arwen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. They went with Arwen because they actually thought, like, its text would be more than drink a text for you. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it it, it could have been more than drink a text. You're at, you're at six mana now, so, like, it... It, it actually could have been from on, this yeah. Point on. Yeah. From this point on, it would have been on. I'll just play Rider. This is a cool card. It's not quite a uh, Cathar Commando. You know, Cathar Commando mm -hmm. being ridiculously powerful. But, like, yeah. Blade of the First Pride with, like, relevant text gets the job done. One of the things about this format is that you don't want to include it. Oh, fuck. Ooh, fast. Whatever tree. this or another tree folk comes in. Plus two, plus Ooh. two, two targets. And there's a lot of uh, good tree folk at common to play in limited decks. Yeah. I'm just trading off to get that off the board. Okay. Font. It keeps its uh, abilities, though, huh? Yes. It turns it into a spirit, which only matters in, like, one real instance, and that is that it turns the army into not an army. Oh, so thanks. your a mass becomes back, doesn't, like, go in onto the, the pacified creature, you know? Yep. All right. Mushroom. 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 Oh, that doesn't require mana. That's actually really good. Yeah. Sorcery speed, but it, it's free. Yeah. You just feed your dog. Scry three, and then reveal a creature, draw it. This thing's pretty good. Scry is like the elven mechanic in the set. It's a lot of elves key off of scrying happen happening. There's mm -hmm. like Three top. Oh, that's danger. That, yep, that's spooky. And what did they reveal? Old, Old Man, Man Willow. Willow. That's spooky. That's, that's a, a tree folk card. too. On top of everything else, huh? Uh huh. Sacrifice another creature or token. Is it gonna, they're just gonna, they're gonna keep your uh, your guy around, your spirit. Yeah, they're also gonna get the plus two plus two. That's what I'm saying. Like oh even when they God. start to sacrifice things to that ability, yeah. they're just gonna keep it around. Well. Yeah. So, 
Old Man Willow is gonna do some. <laughs> okay. One thing they have here that's also powerful is Trample Touch. I have to take Dog off the board. Not liking our position much. For pretty obvious reasons. <laughs> It is good to see that just big beef, big beef, big beef can get the job done, you know? Sometimes you don't need anything special. Though they actually do have, like, a nice, uh, like, synergy set going on here. I actually think that's quite good. Alright. Okay. Puts us at three and two, that's fine. The the loading screens now have book quotes. They've very much going all in on this. It's very cool. Yeah, sometimes the trees just come and kick you. That's what happens when you annoy the trees. <laughs> okay, it going from like a quote from Aragorn and a quote from Faramir to if you don't want to cast a spell or activate an ability, you can pass priority with the space bar. Gandalf. It's like Ajani's, uh, when, when Ajani says they're, they're, they're great, mm. you know, green or whatever. Okay, that just didn't count as anything. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. All right. Is it? Music playing twice. I think the music's playing twice here. I'm not playing Faramir in an open board state like this. This is clearly a counterspell. Good. Absolutely was not playing our, our cool. Do not like how aggressive our opponent is right now, though. If 
they have a kill spell, we're probably out. If their last card is a kill spell. Hold on, what's our life total? 20. I can attack for 19? Ah, oh, sorry, I'm dog-sitting for a couple of days, and I had to go clean up after her. Um, I'm assuming that tree and, uh, the tree and matchup, you, you lost pretty hard. Oh, yeah, given we, that we got smoked. Right when they stepped away, I saw that they put down the common 5-7. <laughs> yeah, we got smoked on that one. Um... Mm -hmm. The music's playing twice right now under. Shadowfax's ability is interestingly powerful because I feel like most of the time they have a free card ETB like and thing like this. It's almost never on a creature with haste. Yeah, th this just happens. Yeah. Okay, they get rid of one of my blockers. Can they get rid of both? Four. They have two blockers left as well. Oh, we were dead no matter what. Okay. Ah, okay. Like it didn't matter that we didn't have those blockers. Four in the air, two in the air plus four from that would have killed us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I. They needed to have that. I think. Because my play would have been Theoden, Handoff, Eagles, Double Strike, Soldier, and Double Strike win. Yeah, that makes sense. So. Okay. They just got in under us. Which, yeah. Okay. Hey, if it goes down to the last turn both ways, that, yes. that means it's, it was a cut cutthroat game. <laughs> they could, in fact, deal four. All right. Three and three for this uh, kind of like we we definitely won. I think I think all three of our games off of Anduril. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, Anduril in the in the game that I popped in on, you didn't need to win. No, we, it we also were, was the card that got them to concede. We were far enough ahead that it it, it was likely we were fine without it. But like the three and three mm -hmm. is about like what a deck like that where we're just doing some wild silly nonsense that's the place i want a deck like that to land i want it to be able to like you know i play out uh aragorn and get to do things but also like it, it's gonna fall over to anything that looks like a competent deck like that tree folk player but yeah uh this is a very different limited format um removal is a lot less like around and the you know Having the the ring tempt abilities really changes uh, like like texture of the format. For instance, almost everyone has access to looting. Because yeah, because looting is ability two on it. Um, one power or two power creatures can very easily be like not breaking a board stall, but if you do get far enough into the ring, it does have a, a three point burn on it as well, which can make it uh really powerful. This this card is a. Uh, <laughs> Bear, fire foes this one's really cool um it's uh so, yeah it's a it's a it can't be prevented blaze to a single target and then also a a ping to everything else i've cast this for zero. Oh yeah that makes sense it won't deal so any damage to the target one thing <laughs> yeah but it will deal one to everything else okay Moria Marauder, this was another one of our uh, 
losses mm -hmm. today in this card. Our opponent's red black sack deck. I'm kind of convinced that red black is one of the powerful setups in this set, mostly because A, they have a lot of the like real removal, and B, I feel like again, the like sacrifice generation plan does have enough pieces to work. Um, mm -hmm. One of those formats where that's it's it's a plan, but it actually works here. Yeah. I, I'm not certain if it's as good as it ha was in a couple of the previous times we've had it, but it's certainly, like, the, the fact that it has a lot of the strong removal is what makes me think it's nice. Yeah, Indestructible, Raw Flank, Mega Body. Grimma here is, like, so this is one of the sack outlets that I'm, like, mentioning, especially because, like, if the sacrifice creature was legendary, you get the, the two, but your ring bearer yeah. is legendary, so, like, you can use that to re to sack a generic token for that. Uh, Mary here uh, is really strong in the setup where you have these, like, food enabler cards, like the Mushroom Dogs or... Um, yeah. Uh, th there's, there's a number of, like, outlets for food tokens that are really good. Um... The Balrog, Durin's Bane. Speaking of Black Red Sacrifice stuff. Yeah. Um, fun bit here. Uh, a couple things on the Balrog. Uh, number one, does not care who did the sacrificing. Uh, just for what permanents were sacrificed. Yep. Um, so uh, that that can make, like, if you're trying to build around this card, things like a Barter in Blood or effects like that a lot more powerful. Uh, obviously, the legendary creature thing has the Ring Bearer can block, but it's... You know, you can see on the, the, the card. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, good luck. Yeah. Um, and then it also has the taking you with me death text. Uh, yep. We we do have, uh, as mentioned a couple times, uh, you know, flag planted on no wings. Uh, though we do have shadowy, uh, you know, smoke in the background, which is how the, they are described in the book. It's it yeah it it's um <laughs> enveloped in shadowy smoke uh in, it is how it's described if I remember right where it's like I think it was like swathed as if like wings or a cloak or something like that yeah which the, you know you go back and forth on different adaptations it's a very uh, yeah yeah a bit it means it doesn't have to give them fly, give it flying true uh. Thetans really goddamn powerful. Humans are the the kind of like play style on uh, red white, and mm -hmm. hand off double strike is just. <laughs> hand off double strike is always strong. It always is. Yeah. Stone of Eric, creature an opponent controls dies would die exile instead. Dang. Okay. Wow. This is like fuck your. Ha! Huh. This is extremely fuck your uh, reanimator stuff. Go home. Huh. So uh, it, it has like a. Not quite a ley line, because um, it's it's just creatures, not all cards. And then it does have a. You know what? I want to eat the graveyard. Um, yeah. I'm really interested in getting a draft where Surrounded by Orcs is a cool card. I, I'm There's a couple cards like this that I feel like are really interesting build arounds for a control strategy specifically this one which like if you get to a big enough army you can just say like you play two copies and be like mill eight mill eleven you're dead you know something like yeah. that um also there's another card that's like i think it's like a mass to put an instant or sorcery on top of your deck from grave and also just the name of this card right here is extreme menaced by skeletons yeah energy yep Surrounded by orcs. Yeah. First riff on Relic of Progenitus that I thought was maybe better. It's kind of funny how powerful Relic was. Relic was not the first attempt at Relic. Scrabbling Claws and some friends existed before Phyrexian Furnace. But Relic has been basically unmatched for like... 15 years... <laughs> yeah anyway uh for anti graveyard tech just yeah in general yeah. yeah just for like what it does and its efficiency of what it does like 
Mm -hmm. Everything that's always been like a riff on it does it a little less efficiently, or is just like one half of it but cheaper. Like Tormod's Crypt, obviously, is the cheapest you can possibly get on that effect. Um, yeah, it's. I I feel I understand why they the card both exists and uh, why they don't want to make it stronger most of the time because well. If it doesn't exist, then graveyard plans sometimes just immediately go out completely out of control and just will dominate anything. Because mm. it's a silver bullet that destroys those. At the same time, it's a silver bullet that destroys those, which means it's inherently a silver bullet card, you know? Yes. And they don't want to have those be too, like, playable outside of their niche to begin with, among other things. Find the... Yeah, trees are on Isengard. This, nice. this setup where it's like, Okay, you can you you you. It's not card advantage, but it's like a a gray ogre or pump up creature you control that also is like recursion on uh, some of your more powerful yeah, spells. The, you want to get like a bunch of those and a bunch of the mill one, and you want to get like just cast them over and over again, kind of thing. Yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be the draft for today. Uh, I do plan on doing some more of these tomorrow uh, being as tomorrow's Friday I won't be as time restricted so I should probably be able to get to him um, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm quite interested in like again there's there's a couple different decks I want to kind of actually get the chance to play I want to see how like the, the black red sack deck ends up playing out I want to I've been thinking about like a blue X control strategy and like there's there's a lot of different directions the, the only things I've seen for certain is that like you end up, in a lot of instances, it can end up with a kind of gummy board just because evasion is a little lower uh, yeah. down. Which also means, like, just beef can be the answer. Like, if your cards all trade two for one with nonsense, you know, because they're five sixes or whatever. It's like, clearing the board. Even if it means you're, you're going down uh, board presence for it, it's still clearing the board. Yeah, so... All right. Anyway, that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you all for joining. Uh, thanks, Doc, for jumping on in here at the back half. No worries. I uh, I was getting up from a nap. Yeah. Ah. Yes. So, so yeah. Uh, if you want to catch more, you can always follow. As mentioned, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing some more of this. Uh, try to fit in two of these. Uh, as it'll be on Friday. And then Sunday is uh, more Bug Fables over on V Prez's side. And the rest of the normal streams during the week. So, all right. Thank you all for joining. Have a good night, everybody. Mm hmm.